Hi there, welcome back. Uh, today we're making a wild garlic and celeriac tart. The wild garlic's doing wonderfully at the moment, so a perfect time to use it. So this is the recipe, 500 grams of celeriac, that's one decent sized celeriac, 15 wild garlic leaves, 100 milliliters of milk, three eggs, some salt and pepper, 100 grams of strong cheddar, and enough pastry to line a flan dish. So the first thing we're gonna do is peel the celeriac. Uh, really simply done and once we've peeled that it's all nice and clean we're going to chop that into a dice chuck it in a pan uh, cover it with water and we're going to boil that until it's soft it will take about 15 minutes um, then we're going to pop that into a blender uh, with the wild garlic leaves and the 100 milliliters of milk and we're going to zhuzh that up until we get this sort of green paste that i'm now putting into a sieve so you could just use the paste as it was, but it's nice to get a nice smooth finish to it. So we're going to push it through a sieve just to make sure it's lovely and smooth. So that just takes a minute and it's well worth the time to do it because it will give you a lovely mouthfeel and a lovely silky texture. So once we've, uh, we've got all that pushed through the sieve, we've got this lovely puree. We're going to add to that some eggs. So uh, the eggs just will set um, the filling for the tart. So we need three eggs, three standard eggs in here. So we crack those into the mix. And then uh, just to pack up the flavors in here as well, once we've got the eggs in, we're gonna add a bit of seasoning. So about half a uh, teaspoon of salt. I use molten sea salt. And then a really good grounding, grinding of black pepper. Black pepper works lovely with the celeriac and with the wild garlic. So give a really good grind of that in there. And then mix that up again so we get a good smooth taste. And this is effectively like a custard that you would put into a tea. And there we've got it. So we can set that aside for the moment while we sort the pastry out. So the pastry could be shop bought. I've made some here, short crust pastry. And we just need enough to line a 10 inch flan uh, dish. Um, that's about five to six hundred grams of pastry. I'm just going to roll that out into a nice circle. So you could roll it as thin as you like. This is fairly rustic, but I like pastry, so uh, there's plenty in there. So once we've done that, what we want to do is line flan dish. I've um, buttered this first, so it's greased, so it'll release easily. So we want to line that completely. And then once we've lined it, what we're going to do is just uh, dock it with the fork just to make sure it doesn't rise too much. And then we're going to blind bake that for about 10 minutes at 180 degrees. And once that's out of the oven, we can put in the cheese. So this is 100 grams of strong cheddar grated. And we're going to put that into the case and spread it out nice and evenly the way through the cage. The cheese works wonderfully with celeriac and with the wild garlic uh, and the stronger the cheese the better really. So once that's all laid out we're going to put the custard on top of it. So scrape that all in on top. So that's just the wild garlic, the celeriac, the milk, salt, pepper and eggs and then we're going to smooth that out. Smooth that out the best you can with your palette knife or your spatula. And then to finish it off, a really good way to, uh, to get it level is to give it a good shake and a tap. And you'll see it's levelling out a bit here. That's perfect. So once it's all level, we'll pop it back into the oven. Uh, about 170 degrees, it'll take around half an hour, maybe a little bit longer, but just check to make sure um, that it's set and when it's set it'll look like that you can cut it into segments garnish it with a few wild garlic flowers have it with salad delicious little tea hope you've enjoyed the recipe come back soon bye